your God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Plant uses resonance to read a person's thoughts. If you think that example was wild, you will really enjoy this one. Cleve Baxter is an expert in using polygraph equipment, which detects differences in skin conductivity that are usually associated with lying, but are actually as a result of arousal. He was just messing around one day when he made an incredible discovery that plants can read our minds. The following is an account of his discovery as it happened in his own words. In this account, he was showing slides and pointing out aspects of them to the audience. I don't have the slides he was using and all I have here is the transcript of the presentation. For whatever reason, it occurred to me that it would be interesting to see how long it took the water to get from the root area of this plant all the way up this long trunk and out and down to the leaves. After doing a saturation watering of the plant, I thought, well, gee whiz, I've got a lot of polygraph equipment around here. Let me hook the galvanic skin response section of the polygraph onto the leaf. Now, this is a Wheatstone bridge circuit that is designed to measure resistance changes, and I felt that as the contaminated water came up the trunk and down into the leaf, that the leaf becoming more saturated and a better conductor would give me the rising time of the water. I would be able to get that on the polygraph chart tracing. Well, this was the thing that started it. Now, the thing trended downward rather than upward, which amazed me a little bit because it should have been going slowly upward on the tracings if it were going to show a drop in resistance. I moved it up here. This was my move. And then it came down again. And this is the thing that amazed me right here. Because this contour, right away, I'm looking and thinking, that's got the contour of a human being tested, reacting when you are asking a question that could get them in trouble. So, I forgot about the rising water time and said, wow, this thing wants to show me people like reactions. What can I do that will be a threat to the well-being of the plant? Similar to the fact that a relevant question regarding a crime could be a threat to a person taking a polygraph test if they were lying. About 15 minutes along, 13 minutes and 55 seconds along in this initial observation, I had tried different things to get a reaction from the plant. I had even dipped a neighboring leaf into a cup of rather warm coffee and the plant didn't show me anything like a reaction. It showed me, if anything, boredom and just continued to go downwards. If this thing were an individual, the fact that they were getting bored and sleepy. But over here, the idea occurred to me, and only the idea. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to burn that plant leaf, the very leaf that's attached to the polygraph. Now, I didn't have any matches in the room. I wasn't touching the plant in any way. I was maybe five feet away from the desk. I was essentially away from the plant. The only new thing that occurred was my intent to burn that plant leaf. Right here, split second wise, was when I thought of burning the plant leaf and the image entered my mind. I wasn't using words at all and up the thing went into a wild agitation. Now, this was very late at night and towards morning. The building was empty and there was just no other reason for this reaction. This had been going along at a fairly stable level all the way up to this point. So, this amazed me. This, I would say, would be a very high quality observation. And my consciousness hasn't been the same since. And this happened in 1966. I thought, wow, 
This thing read my mind. It was that obvious to me right then. So, then I went to get some matches from the next room. The secretary was a smoker, and I got some matches out of her desk and brought them in. The next will show where I came back into the room, right about here. I lit the match. I was even into burning the neighboring leaf, rather than the leaf I had hooked up. Somehow, that was already a special leaf. Even before I had a chance to do this, I thought, well, this massive degree of reaction that I'm getting here, I wouldn't be able to see any additional reaction if it did occur. So I thought, well, let me reverse the process and remove the threat from the room. So I took the matches back out of the room here, came back in at this point, and the thing just evened right out again, which really rounded it out. It gave me a very very high quality observation. Now my partner in the polygraph school that we were running at the time came in. He was able to do the same thing also as long as he intended to burn the plant leaf. If he pretended to burn the plant leaf, it wouldn't react. It could tell the difference between pretending you're going to and you are actually doing it, which is quite interesting in itself from a plant psychology standpoint. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 5, Segment Number 25. Let your quest for knowing continue.